Almost all of the neon signs you see in the Richmond area were made by one man. Lewis Rudd has been doing it for 52 years. I started to work for a sign company to become a sign painter. And this came along and they talked me into trying my hand at it and I did and just stuck with it. Rudd says it took him about three years to master the art of neon sign making. I didn't have anyone to teach me when I started doing this. See, Tally went in business and he knew nothing about it and neither did I and just learned by trial and error and that's a pretty hard way to learn. Making neon signs is not a simple process. Rudd starts with a set of blueprints, makes a pattern, heats and forms the glass, then creates a vacuum for the gases that will light the neon tubes. Right now, he's working on a set of eight-foot-high letters for Tallheimers. This is part of the H. A big job like this one is taking two weeks, but Rudd says it can take anywhere from 45 minutes to a few days to make most neon signs. This familiar one on Broad Street took him almost two days. And although he follows blueprints and patterns, in every sign, there is a little of Lewis Rudd. You have to want to do good work and want to put you you have put yourself into it, so to speak. He's been doing it for more than half a century, but Rudd says he doesn't plan to retire anytime soon. As long as people want me to work for them, I, I'll keep on working. As long as I'm able to give them an honest day's work, I enjoy doing it. That's one thing. If I didn't, I guess I would uh, be in a rocking chair, maybe. But I enjoy doing class work, and that's why I keep on, keep on doing it.